beautiful swim yesterday outside, so I'm super pumped and jazzed. So watch out, we've got extra energy coming your way this morning. Uh, all you're going to need is a set of dumbbells or a substitute at home, which could be wood, a brick, gallon of water, milk, whatever you've got there. And um, I'm using a bucket or a bin today. That's optional. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. We're still going to work hard. Let's start with our standing warm up. We're going to go for a basic squat and come back up. Make you really think about sending your hips out to the back today. Knees stay behind those toes. We're really going to focus on pulling in tight around the midsection through all our exercises today. So we can further condition our core and protect our back. Hold it at the bottom on this one. Take your right hand. We're going to make a little circle up to the roof. Gaze follows. Other side. Beautiful. And come on up. Let's repeat that. Sink down. So we're getting those ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, upper back, all warmed up, ready to work hard today. Just a reminder to work at your own pace. If you need to back off a little bit, listen to your body. If you can want to step it up, you can add more resistance. Two more. We're going to hold it at the bottom, right down here. Thumb goes up, big circle. So we pretty much had a huge explosion of green leaves on the trees here yesterday. It's just amazing how they come out so fast. Hands on the thighs, right hand reaches up to the root, nice thoracic trunk rotation. So summer is edging closer to us. Stand up nice and tall. We're going to set your right foot back, sink your knee, and come up and over. So another little trick that you can use during your day is not only doing this workout to start off your day, but maybe just doing this standing stretch sequence in the middle of the day as well, just to help you get up and get out of that chair at home, or whether you're at home or at work. Nice to open things out. One more. Up and over. Let's go ahead and open the chest. Look up. Soften the knees, gaze to the roof. We're going to reverse that round through the upper back. So next one depends on the health of your knees. You can either lift your knee up, or we're going to reach for the foot and stretch through the front of the thigh. Nice and tall there. Switch sides. Excellent. Okay, we're on to our first set. We're going to do a little bit of arm work to start off with. And uh, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. So uh, we're going to do biceps, triceps first today. You've got some choices. If you don't have a wall handy that you can lean up against, you come into a partial squat. If you've got a wall, take it to your wall set now. So we're going to get a little work on the quads as well. We're going to do a... Uh, Eccentric, eccentric contraction where we're going to go up, up, down, down. Good. Lift, lift. So I like this because we're getting an extra bang for our butt. We're going to fire the leg muscles and focus on those biceps as well. Nice thing about having your upper back against the wall is you can't cheat by swinging your chest back and shoulders back to lift up the weight. Lift, lift, lower, lower. We're going for a full minute here. You've got 15 seconds to go. Up, up, down, down. Let's not doing it. Stop, 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 and release. Give me Making me able to use a little bit of extra muscle to restart again. Okay, that's it. Come on up. We're going to move into a triceps. So I'm going to downgrade my weight a little bit for this. And we're going to come into a standing single arm triceps press. Lunge position. So again, we're going to kick in your lower body as well. Forearm comes on your trunk. Lock your elbow into your ribcage and it's a straighten 
and a bend. And we're going to go 30 seconds on the right and then we'll switch sides. Exhale it back. So triceps is the rear of your upper arm. And you can really buy this muscle group even more by squeezing tight right there on the extension. We should have time for five more. Four. Three. Good. Two. And one. Good. Switch sides. And again, our focus was on keeping the trunk pulled in tight so we can protect the back through all our exercises. This is a good time to do that here. 30 seconds. And this is hitting the same muscle group that we do when we do those dips or spider kicks. So just a different way to hit them today. Try and keep your body weight through that front heel. And if you can, you can even lower down the back knee a little bit closer to the floor. If that doesn't work for your body, you can rest the back knee down on the floor completely. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. Okay. Weight's going to go down. Now, on this one, I'm going to use a bucket. I'm going to get a little bit extra weight in there for mine. You can pick up a weight or a book at home. And what we're going to be doing here is you've got a couple of options. Option number one would be a tap back, tap back. So four of those come into a good position to pick up your object. So back flat, we're not rounding. Look up, chest up, and then you're going to use your legs to drive this up. Okay, so that could be option one. If you want to take it a little bit further, we're going to go for a stride jump. Four, three, two, one, down, overhead press. Okay, so pick your poison. We're going to go for a minute on these as well. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, squat, press up. Bring it center. Four, three, two, one, squat. Center it up. Choices there. 
All right, here we go. 30 seconds on each side. Sink it down. Flat back. Tip forwards. Elbow tucks in. Extend. Bring it on back. So the trick here is to keep your elbows still. Only movement is from the elbow through to the dumbbell. Lifting and lowering. Or you can think straighten, bend. Straighten, bend. 10 more seconds and we're going to switch sides. You get to modify intensity on how much weight you have. Switch it up, very nice. Sink on down, elbow locks into the side. Nice work. seconds and we're going back to that shuttle bucket lift. And now you've done it once, you get to decide can you take a little bit more weight in there or do you need to lose the weight all together? Up to you. Okay, off we go. Weight that bucket up a little bit more. One minute. Two choices for you and three, two, one. Set. Chest up. Use the legs and then that overhead press, or bring the bucket to the chest. Shuffle, 
or our back step. One minute and we're off. Three. Sink it down. Exhale it up. Step at center. Three, two, one, down.
It's going to be a step down. You're going to step here. Now, first option is to step forwards. And we're looking to open your hips. We're going to ankle knee and hip flexibility. And then we're going to step back down. If you want to advance, you can add a little jump forwards. All right, we're going to try for 10. Here we go. Try and have your eyes and your cheeks looking up when you sit down. You see why we had that focus on keeping a long, flat back today, abdominals engaged. Good, very nice. Next up is our wood chop. Start going down to the left, chopping to the right. Here it is. Really good to have 
have strength and endurance. We also want to have the mobility in our body to move in a lot of different ways. So this exercise is going to help you do that. Four more. Make sure you're really setting that plank before you step or jump forwards. turn around 
you can reach, whatever you need to do, if you don't and these things lock up, you end up having to turn around this way. We don't want to be that limited. So let's move on to our first exercise. We're going to modify our bird dog. It's going to be an extend. Elbow into the extend, put it down. So notice what's happening. We're getting a flexion, extension through the spine, and press it down. Take me through 10 of these. One more on each side. And here's a little bit more of that mobility work we were talking about for our rotation. Reach up. Well, you imagine that your left hand is a needle and you're threading it under your right shoulder. And then you're going to reach it back up. We're going to find on each side. Work within your own range. You might start here. And over time, you're going to be able to take it a little bit higher. One more. Switch sides. Slide it through. Reach it up. Okay, now comes our side work for our obliques and our abdominal. So on this one, we're going to be get you to be coming out onto your left side. So you should feel your left butt cheek on the ground. So from here, you're going to lay yourself down. We're going to give you the modification first. And that would be to leave your bottom leg on the ground. Your right hand's going to go behind your head and you're bringing that elbow to or towards the knee. Now, that right elbow goes back down onto your mat and then you bring it back up. Now your full range would be to pick up both legs. So now I've got a lot of work in the waist and the abdominals. Open, squeeze up. Got a little bit of support for my head on my right hand. Good, now I'd like you to hold it up there for one leg or two. We're going to go for 10 small little pushes. 10, nine, so you really squeeze tight, a little harder at the top. You should start to feel the area we're really hitting, lower abs and also the right side of the trunk. Great job. Okay, we're gonna take that a little further. One leg down. Extend one leg, we're going to hold both legs up and I'm looking for a 15 second hold. If you want to further advance, pick up your right hand. Good, good, good. Come on, a couple more seconds here for me. And let's release it down. I'm going to go for the same deal on the other side. So just remember in that seat, both my legs are flexed. I lie down on my side, this time my left hand goes behind my head and I'm taking my elbow either towards or to my knee and if you want to advance it, both the knees lift up. Make sure you're on your butt cheek though. One more, here comes the little ones, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent job. So we're going to go ahead, straighten up either both legs, or one leg down, and it's a 15 second hold. Really doing nice work today. You've certainly got me sweating. I hope you're sweating there uh, at home. This one's one of those ones that sneaks up on you. Multi-joint movement burns lots of calories. Provides good strength and we're getting some good mobility work today. Very nice. Okay, let's go back to the bird dog. We've got 10, so reach in, reach and switch.
Five more. Last one. Okay, here comes our trunk rotation. So we're going to reach up, we're going to thread that needle through, bring it up. You're looking for five on each side. Every time you do this move, you're going to get a bigger range. Okay, let's switch sides. Specifically, so walk your hands to the left, 
You can feel a nice stretch on the right side of your trunk. Switch it over. Good. Press yourself back up into a standing position. You're amazing. I'm so impressed with you. You've done so well this week. Keep up the good work. Tune in tomorrow for Pilates Kiwi down on the style. And don't forget to send me your pics of your other activity. I want to make sure you're moving in addition to meeting me. Stretch back here. That way we are training together. All right, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.